On the second day of registration for the National Assembly elections, 36 candidates registered for the 50-seat parliament. 35 males and one female turned out today, bringing the total number of candidates to 101. From the Elections Affairs Department in Schwer, Sarah Glubb brought this report. The second day of registration for the upcoming National Assembly elections, set for July 27, 2013, opened, and by the end of the day, a total of 36 candidates, including one female, had submitted their nomination for the parliament. Today we are uh, the second day for the uh, for registration for uh, for the national election, Kuwaiti national election for uh, parliament, Kuwaiti election. Uh, we are almost uh, going to close the second day. Uh, we receive uh, up to this moment, around 1 o'clock, uh, 34 uh, uh, male and female, 33 male and, and one female. So the total uh, for the two days uh, is uh, 99 uh, candidates. Uh, as we mentioned before, uh, this, uh, this uh, candidacy is going to last uh, until uh, July 6, the last day for uh, for accepting uh, registration for election, and also we'd like to mention that the, the last day for withdrawing uh, for those who register uh, themselves, it's going to be one week before election day. It's going to be the last day, uh, July 19. Today, uh, yesterday was uh, 60, ended uh, 65, and today. Uh, 34, so, uh, total is 19, 99, so the first day was, uh, you know, uh, the appearance is, uh, is bigger than today. Uh, regarding, uh, it's, uh, it's slight changes, uh, last election was 500, it's reduced to 50 uh, KD, uh, this is according to the law, and uh, also last election, uh, the candidates, uh, after they register themselves in this department, they have to go to the police station designated in each, each governorate. Uh, last election, this, is, uh, this procedure was, uh, you, know, uh, you know, changed. But this election, it's back, this procedure. So every candidate uh, need to go to, to the governorate to complete the registration. Uh, go to the police station, I'm sorry. So without, without uh, these procedures, his registration or her registration will be cancelled. A total of two candidates registered in the first constituency, three in the second constituency, nine for the third constituency, 14 for the fourth constituency, and eight for the fifth constituency, bringing the total number registered so far to 101 over the past two days, including 99 males and one female. <laughs> I thank God for the big numbers of my fellow candidates, which reflects the keenness of Kuwaiti citizens to participate in the elections process. We would love to see Kuwaitis as one unit instead of different factions. We all hope for the national unity and cooperation of all Kuwaitis. I am also grateful for the constitutional court ruling, which united all Kuwaitis. And whoever wants to change the one-vote law should run for elections and work to change it inside the parliament. People should not be negative. They should hold on to their responsibility and vote for the best to serve the country. That's democracy. Under Kuwait's electoral law, parliament hopefuls have 10 days to register their names for the elections, where a total of 435,000 Kuwaitis are eligible to vote and elect a 50-member seat parliament for a four-year term. The second day of candidate registration for the July National Assembly elections 2013 has now closed. And although the total registered candidates for today was almost half of that yesterday, the first day, it is already evident that there will be a much larger turnout than in the previous poll that was held on December 1, 2012. From the Election Affairs Department of the Ministry of Interior, this is Sarah Glubb reporting for English News.